All right, here we go again. Um, we got the female Renda upside down. And you know, this is actually a very scary thing to see. And if you have Arendas, is it Arendas? Mm -hmm. I always say it wrong. Um, if you've had them for any length of time, I'm sure you've seen your fish like that. And I can tell you, I've actually thought that this particular fish was dead twice. Now you can see the male over there. They have a really good relationship, and uh, he gets stressed out if she's sick like this. And, you know, it looks like classic swim bladder disease. Now, my wife, who takes care of these fish, look at her. She goes, she's having a hard time, and she's not eating. Now, what she does is the minute the tank gets even a little bit cloudy, she goes through the hassle of changing about three-quarters of the tank. It takes a lot of work. So... You know, the thing of it is, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how she's sick right now. Right and now. you're not going to believe it because what my wife has here, if you look, these are peas. These are frozen peas. She thaws them out. She takes off the shell, you know, peels them. And then she drops them in the tank there. Now, she's probably not, doesn't look like she's going to be able to eat right now. But if she eats a couple of those peas you see on the bottom, believe it or not, it will cure her. Here she goes. Well, hopefully she'll. You know, it's just going to be hard to get her to eat. Now the other, now there goes the the male. He's going to eat. The point is, is when we first got these fish, we went on YouTube and we're wondering like what, how to save them when they get, both had this weird condition. And we read that that the secret is to feed them greens, and peas are a real easy way to do it. And that has saved their lives. A number of times now she really looks bad today I I get worried I mean she's just totally staying upside down which is scary so hopefully this is not gonna end up being a sad kind of a thing but I'm um, starting to get that stressed out feeling again where she just doesn't look good uh, I've seen her that bad once before actually where she wasn't even moving but we're gonna try and get her to eat these greens and hopefully the next video you're gonna see is her being normal so we got some new different types of stuff we're going to give her and look at the mill look how he's like worried about her that's sad Hola. Hola. Oh, my poor wife is nervous about the whole thing she loves these fish but it's a constant you know the message here is that it's a lot of work if you have these fish and you're new to them you've got to give them greens you have to you know we we feed them these things here right here but that's just really good for like the fiber intake part of the whole diet. They have to be supplemented with a lot of greens or they're going to end up like that. And I, either a dirty tank or maybe she just didn't have enough greens. I don't know. But hopefully we can save her life. So wish us luck. Pretty sad, man. I don't even like to think about it. Just her laying upside down like that is just sad. You know, they've... They've been through a lot. I mean, you can see the scar on his side from when his scales came off. When he, uh, I mean, this poor guy here, he's had his scales ripped off, half of his head chewed off by a, uh, a what was that? A, what kind of fish? Koi. A koi. So his head's growing back, but honey, look at this girl. She doesn't look good at all. Mm -hmm. So what my wife's doing now is she's testing the water, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing, too, that my wife learned is that... It, if the water is even off just a little bit these fish can react to it and get sick they're very delicate fish on the one hand they're very strong on the other because they seem to be able to survive a lot of close calls and i'm rambling so we'll come back later and hopefully we'll have good news all right once again here we have a miraculous recovery now the last video you saw her, or the last part of the video, she, this fish was laying on her back and was non-responsive. It's about an hour, it's no more than an hour later, and my lovely wife changed the water, like I said, about three quarters of the water. And then uh, she gave the fish peas, which you can still see some on the bottom right there. And that was the thing that we're, that's the whole point of this video, is especially for people that are new to Oranda's man when you see them upside down like that do two things make sure the water's clean which seems to be the real key right hon mm -hmm. so the, the water is key you got to clean it you know change most of it three quarters of it do a test to make sure it's not 
too high or low in the in the chemicals and make sure that your fish is eating greens and it doesn't have to be peas but if it is don't forget to peel the peas it's the inside not the outside and um, that should do it I will tell you that this is like the third time now that that this particular fish has been on death's doorstep and I mean you know they're robust fish they can live to be 20 25 years old but it's been our experience that um, you still have to you got to give them a clean tank because they're they're kind of dirty fish like all goldfish you know they take a lot of craps so if you want to have one of these fish or you well, don't have one because they're real social they need two if you're gonna have a couple of these fish make sure you keep the tank extra clean prepare to do a lot of work and give them their their greens google it um, because there's a lot written on the internet about it maybe not a lot but there's enough that will substantiate what I'm saying and look how healthy she is she looks like a normal fish now which is pretty amazing when you consider she was laying on the bottom of the tank you know upside down it's pretty wild good job hon thank you honey I know you don't have to talk sweet to me where everyone on YouTube can hear it but I love you so much I know but you sound like me I know that's the beauty of our marriage maybe Maybe, maybe my wife doesn't really exist. Maybe I'm a loner and I don't have a wife. Ding 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 ding. Don't say a word. Then you. Oh, now she's mad at me because I said don't say a word because I wanted total silence in the film studio. Just kidding. All right, so that's it. Say goodbye to the beautiful fish. Bye bye. Look at her. She's so happy to be alive. Thank you for turning me right side up. And now we have to give him a little bit more attention. Oh, look how cute. Yeah. Oh, I mean, come on, man. This guy right here, he's been through hell and back. He's like the Green Beret of Arandas. he's like, so strong, huh? Yeah, he's very strong now. He, he's, he gets sick a lot less than this one. I don't know. I want to end the video, but I just can't. Look how cute they are together. Uh oh, she's going into a slow roll. Oh, nice. Just as I'm getting ready to end the video, she rolled over and died on me. Unbelievable. No, she'll straighten out again. She's still a little bit weak because remember, she just had the piece here. She's shaking it off. And before, she couldn't get any, any altitude. She couldn't swim up because she didn't have the strength. So it takes a while to recover, you know. They don't eat a pee and then instantly get better, but it's pretty quick. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's it. Say goodbye. Boy, boy.